The Houston Police Department's K-9 unit received tactical vests to better protect their furry four-legged officers while catching bad guys on the streets of Houston. These officers love their canines. They're with them 24-7. For the past 16 years, Susie Jean, president of Vest and PDP Inc., has been working closely with law enforcement agencies across the country. She makes sure canines are protected from being stabbed or shot by suspects in the line of duty. Officer Greg Smith and his partner Gunner have worked the streets for several years. He recalls how he met Susie Jean. His response was surprising. I was approached several years ago about uh, asking if my dog had a vest. I said yes, but it was very old and it belonged to another dog and it was, you know. So she made sure that uh, my dog was vested. Probably a year later, my dog was stabbed by a bad guy. Two, two times, uh, the vest saved his life. So what prompted Jean to start this organization? I had two shepherds and they died about a year apart. They were father and son. And about a month after my second one died, I was watching America's Most Wanted. And I saw an officer with this canine, and he had to go in this dangerous situation. It was all on tape. And so the man shot his dog, and the dog kind of just fell over. And I just, I was shocked. I started crying. I was like, why did they send him in? The dog got back up after being shot, knocked the criminal over. They rushed the criminal, and the dog just died right there. And then you've got this officer over his dog just crying. Each vest cost between $1,400 to $1,800. It's an extremely vital piece of equipment which some police departments sometimes cannot afford. These guys, to us, I mean, it's just like riding a partner. So you want to protect them as much as you can. Officer Paul Foster and his partner T-Rex are very grateful for the vests. It means a lot. I mean, these, these guys are like our kids. We're with them 24 hours a day, seven days a week, go home with us, uh, spend time with our families. And then we get out there and fight crime. And um, to have the tools... Uh, necessary to, to do our job is just unbelievable. Sergeant Stuart Red has been with Bandit for more than three years and says these animals put their lives and loyalty on the line every time they go out. They uh, put their lives on the line apprehending dangerous criminals on a daily basis. Uh, the officers call on these dogs to locate uh, the most dangerous criminals there are to track them down when they're uh, desperately trying to get away. And because of that, the dogs are going after people with guns and knives. Um, they're, they're putting themselves in harm's way and every piece of equipment that we can get to help the dogs be safer uh, is another tool in the toolbox that helps them do their job uh, better. Up till now, Gene's nonprofit organization has provided vests for over 800 police dogs in 44 states. In most states, it is a federal crime to kill a canine.